What's up, YouTube? This is Jay Millionaire here with a quick review of some kicks that just got dropped off. As you can see, it is a standard sort of Jordan 4 box um, with a difference, of course, that being the yellow top. Um, and I guess you could see by the <laughs> description and because of the yellow box, these are the Tour 4s or the Lightning 4s. Um, as you can see, Air Jordan 4 Retro, Tour Yellow, Dark Blue Gray, my size 10 and retail for 220 doll hairs so like i said the box is kind of like a standard jordan 4 box or the old school version retro where everything on it is like that same kind of color except for this is usually like a darker gray so it's a lighter gray and of course that infrared reddish jumpman it's a a bluish gray one which is a nice touch i don't know what they've been doing lately on uh, the retros but for the pollen uh, ones they kind of changed the box and for this one of course because this is like a iconic drop from the 2006 retro i guess this is another like, iconic box i don't know anyways um into the inside that like, kind of bluish gray um in the inside nice touch um and the paper itself like i said it's a little lighter lighter, lighter speckles and onto the shoes so like i was saying this is like um i guess a retro of the 2006 pair that drops, which is like a super limited, kind of like a quick strike, or um, I don't know if it was like a quick strike and a friends and family, but super limited, and that's why they're going, or they were going for super, like thousands of dollars re uh, resale, because they were limited. Um, that being said, this model is a retro of those, and it was in it, it wasn't as limited, but I guess still, people still struck out, so it is what it is so um let's go into a quick little i guess review of these and i guess show what's uh, that i can see or notice that was different from the 2006 pair um but yeah okay let's go Dang. all right so into a quick detailed review of the, uh, the whole shoe really quick and then like i said a little historical uh difference of what the 2006 one and the 2021 version is uh this one is compiled of a yellow i'd say kind of like a canary yellow or a tweety bird yellow um versus the 2006 version was uh, more bright or brighter um, as you can see the laces are yellow um and they're not as or they're brighter than the yellow of the the, the new buck that just gives you a little i guess comparison of how bright it could be and the, the 2006 version is kind of like a brighter yellow versus this toned down yellow on camera it doesn't look you know like i said like the eye the eye it's brighter but not as bright as the 2006, if you get what I'm saying. So, let's see. So, the suede is a pretty nice suede. Um, it's nothing to write home about, but they have been making a lot thicker materials throughout uh, the cut of the silhouette. I guess homage to the OG versions of the 80s. Because um, you could just tell the material is a lot thicker than the 2000, uh, early 2000s to 2010, 12 uh, era when they're making fours. Uh, the overall shape of this is a lot different. Um, if you can, if you know, the old ones are kind of like a banana shape where the back would kind of like lift off the ground. And um, this one doesn't have that, like I said, more to the 80s and the, the shape or the swoop of the silhouette is a lot slimmer. Again, to the 80s. And one thing I also noticed really quick is the tongue is a lot thicker than the, the fours they used to make. Again, back to uh, the original OG cut. And one thing they changed from the 2006 version is the, um, the angle, the net the angle is basically supposed to be like i guess flush with the angle of this and as you can see it lines up perfectly i guess the 2006 or 2010 era they were making them kind of like horizontal which just didn't look right um they did make these a lot thicker as you can see the plastic is a lot thicker than those but i mean from far away doesn't you can't really tell um let's see the regular you know white midsole or i guess on certain hits kind of looks like the cool gray fours that white midsole with a uh, blue grayish outsole. And I guess on the 2006 pair, it was a black outsole. So that's one thing that's different. I personally like the bluish gray to match the wings and the uh, patch on the tongue. It looks nice. Um, on this one, they actually have a white air bubble. And I think on the 06 version, it was a darker or dark gray version. Or um, I don't know. I think that it, it would look better with the dark gray, but I mean... You can't really tell anyways when you're walking. Uh, white toe with the white patch on the sole with the canary yellow, hard tour yellow Jumpman. And the thing is the same as the white insole with the blue gray Jumpman. 
course, the iconic fours with the Air Jordan upside down in that satin yellow. And yeah, pretty much simple. The four is, like I said, from an 80s design, so there's nothing super crazy about it. Um, but I did think they did a, a lot of, uh, a better job on this um, mold versus the 2006. So that's one good thing. The materials, like I said, are a lot better, if that's a word. Um, 2000 and 2006 era, they made a lot of stiff, plasticky joints, especially like the Mars joints and um, uh, military four blues and stuff, a lot of paper material. So there is a lot of quality issues, as you can see, because it is a Jordan brand. So it's not perfect, as you can see. As you can see, some of the leather on that one is a little wonky. But overall, a lot better. Um, I guess, in my opinion, a lot better than the 2006 version. I do wish they would have kept some of the certain hints. Um, but they did a good job. Uh, one thing I did notice as well on, I guess, like the cool gray 4s and all of them back in the 2006s, is they kind of left a big chunk in here. And they kind of filled that in with suede or new buckle on here. So that's a nice touch as well. Uh, but overall, a classic shoe you can't go wrong with. Are there a lot of flaws? Yes, because it's Jordan brand. And was it hard to get? Kind of. The thing about these are kind of going towards um, towards the retail price. I think they're going for like three, four hundred right now, and they retail for two twenty. So after tax and everything, you're saying two fifty. They're not that much over retail. So if these do dip to retail, who's to say I won't cop another pair just to just to rock? Um, too bad they didn't come with another white laces. They just come with the, the factory laces yellow on here. Like I said, that kind of truer, uh, brighter yellow. But like I said, it looks good. So let me know if you got these on release day. I think they came on because these is my sneaker pair. Um, I got lucky didn't have to get the taller pair or um, the GS pair through sneakers, but I did score a taller pair through YCMC, which is super lucky. Apple Pay for the win. But um, they're super hard to get. I'd try to get another pair, um, at least another two pair of my size. And this is the only one I got. So I guess that's lucky even with the errors and the issues of the quality, but it is what it is. So. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe, like this, and let me know if you end up copping a pair or you're just going to wait till the resale uh, gets more attainable because I might do the same. All right, peace.